If you love 90s country, then this may excite uh -huh. you. Richie McDonald of Lone Star, Larry Stewart of Restless Heart, and Tim Rushlow of Little Texas Ooh, have come Texas. together to form the front men of country, and they'll be in the First Coast September 18th. I got a chance to talk with Tim Rushlow, who tells us all about this union. We're so excited, too. Obviously, COVID hit the world, and um, after that, it kind of changed the way we all were thinking in our lives. You know, we're, we're, all, we're all fathers, and, and we have, you know, kids and then we, we realized hey, this is this is something this life we live can either be here or not in an instant and it's really you know, up to us to decide our future what does that look like is it just what we've been doing or is there something new to do here and we realized that we like the front man of the country is the idea so we took three singers from three iconic bands put them into one group we you know and we go out and uh we've been, been amazed at the i mean just the the awareness campaign didn't take much. All we had to do was say, hey, we'd like to do this. And all of a sudden the phone started yeah. ringing. <laughs> and so so now it's neat. It's interesting that, you know, Richie and Larry and I and the groups that we fronted for all those years, um, th there's a common thread that runs through our music that, you know, whether you're singing God Bless Texas or Amy's Back in Austin or what might have been, or if you're um, singing Amaze, Front Porch Looking In, Mr. Mom, and, and you know, I'm already there, or Bluest Eyes in Texas. And just, I mean, Larry's got, hits so we don't have enough room in a 90 minute show to play all the hits so we actually have to do medleys of songs to get oh, them all in there cool. well you don't want to make anybody mad right and not play something that they can't hear <laughs> to hear and there's been times after the show we've met somebody and they're like you didn't play this and then i'll literally i'll go get a guitar from the back and come out and go well, let me play it for you now that's and, amazing and people love that you know those are the stories that are neat but that's really what this is about especially coming to town to fashion horn center because you know this is sort of like, even though it's a beautiful, world-class venue, we make it our living room for the night. And so it's like you're on the couch with us. You know, you're going to hear the stories behind the songs. Uh, and I don't know where you're going to go here. Three singers that have 30-man records sold in 30 number one hits, you know? Wow. Um, so it's not a braggadocious statement if it's true, and it is. And so for us all to combine our successes into one group and do this, it's a, it's a pretty special night. So if you're into 90s country and you want to hear the soundtrack of what you heard on the radio in the 90s and, and come see us it's gonna be a great time and i mean obviously we want to hear all the all the old stuff right the classics but you sure. also have made music together as a group can you tell us a little bit about that yeah we recorded a song called if it wasn't for the radio that basically states hey if it wasn't for the radio we wouldn't have the, the success we've had but the same at the same time the song talks about that these songs all of our collective these are the soundtracks of people's lives and they are, and, and we, we just love the song. So after recording it, there's been a lot of uh, interest in, are you guys a new recording act? We weren't really thinking on that level, but now we're like, well, yeah, I guess we could be. And so we're we're gonna go back in the studio and try to get creative and make some new music as the front man of country, which is gonna be neat. Um, but it's interesting to be a new group and yet have this arsenal of hits in our past as well to work with it. So it's uh, it's pretty nifty, you know, we're, we feel real blessed that we have been able to be a part of this together. And, and we really are fans of each other's music. So that's the fun part. People after the show, they're like, man, are you guys really having fun or is that just a shtick? <laughs> like, no, it's, we, we love we love each other's music. And so we love to sing on each other's songs. And, you know, a, a little kept secret, a lot of lead singers are really good at being a lead singer, but they're not real good at singing harmonies and doing background parts. Um, we, all three of us have an uncanny almost kinship family sounding thing where we sing three part harmony on everything we do and, and it just sounds really good and we're we're taking care of ourselves you know we're in our prime vocally and yeah. so it's just like man this is good so I, i'm very pleased that we're coming to town and we're getting interest from world-class venues like fresh horn center so i think it's september 18th we're yes. gonna be there and, and we've got a great opening act there steven's gonna be on at seven steven and quinn we'll on, yeah steven mm -hmm. quinn will be on at seven o'clock and then the front men me being one of those, we'll be on at eight. And uh, we're excited to come to town and uh, play some good old honest 90s country for folks. So it feels really nice to be honored um, and, and know that the music we made mattered and that people still really love it. I mean, it's amazing to be able to come back and, you know, still have it. So, <laughs> so does <laughs> hey, Thank you. If you'd like to see this segment again or get more information, go to firstcoastliving.net.